I'm Steve Sipple, meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Phoenix, and we uh, use volunteers around our area to observe and report severe weather as it occurs. Oftentimes, these uh, observers are trained to report certain criteria, and this is a workstation at the National Weather Service where uh, licensed uh, ham radio operators are able to use the uh, radio and during s certain severe weather operations we receive reports uh, from other volunteers around our area and the net controller who works at this station can uh, relay the reports in real time to the forecasters and a lot of times we base our warnings upon these reports. During our training episodes when we have uh, an instructor and students attending these classes, we indicate the criteria or the specific weather that uh, will be observed and reported when it occurs. For example, in Tornado Alley, uh, the trained spotters are expected to uh, observe and report uh, tornadoes as they occur. Here in Arizona, we have more of a uh, dust storm, straight line wind threat. And oftentimes uh, the ham radio operator uh, will be able to relay this important information uh, to the National Weather Service. Uh, the phone lines might be down, cell phones might be inoperative, and we, meet, we need to have the uh, information passed along to the National Weather Service. So ham radio operators make an ideal spotter uh, to relay the information. We have uh, over 500 uh, trained spotters uh, in various locations around our county warning area. Here in Maricopa County, we have perhaps 400 uh, or more trained spotters. Oftentimes they travel and uh, they may not be around during our peak threat season, which is the s monsoon season. That extends from June 15th through uh, September 30th. So we need people uh, during this uh, critical time to observe and report severe weather.